The Euroleague's rise to global prominence began on October the 16th, 2000, when the first tip-off between courageous clubs that had recently joined together to take charge of the continent's top competition. Months later, the spotlight belonged to a memorable new champion who triumphed in the only five-game playoff series to ever decide a European title. Kinder Bologna was an exciting mix of well-versed veterans and unknown rookies, several of whom soon dominated the sport. I don't think that even, uh, let's say, Kinder itself, uh, the, the, the management or the coaches didn't think that things could go so well as, as they did. It was just hard work and desire and, you know, things, things going well that, uh, um, you know, being in the right, right place at the right time for all of us. The right place for 20-year-old Matthias Smodis was nonetheless a totally new environment for him. This was a very special year for me. I came from Slovenia, a very small town, to a big city, Bologna, uh, a big sports city. Uh, there was a, a barrier of language. Uh, I didn't know two words of Italian when I got there. Uh, got injured, I was well accepted later on in the team. The season started for Kinder with one superstar, Sasha Danilovic, retiring after the team's very first practice but that did nothing to hold the team back in the long term. The chemistry of old, old in, in, <laughs> in a not old uh, meaning of the word, uh, players and the young, uh, promising athletes or stars that want to prove themselves. Uh, we had on Manu Ginobili, who was electrifying. We had a very good coach and everything just gelled that first year. That very good coach, Ettore Messina, would go on to win a total of four EuroLeague trophies. He would also become much more than a coach to Smodis. For me, I was like a, 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 a father figure, because, you know, I come from a divorced family, uh, so I didn't really know my father. I know my father, but I don't know my father, if you can understand me. Uh, so Ettore kind of filled that gap. He was a teacher of basketball, but later on also a teacher of life. Because so, basketball was, uh, for me, the, the, the meaning of life uh, for, let's say, 15, 16 years. And he was kind of the, the, let's say, the, the director or the, the, the teacher uh, in that period. What also made that season unique was the five-game finals, in which Kinder was taken to the limit by Tau Ceramica of Vittoria. In a dramatic series, the teams traded wins to take everything to the last game in Bologna. We uh, understood uh, even before, before the game that this was maybe, maybe even a breaking point uh, in our season and maybe even a career. In front of a packed home crowd in Game 5, Kinder did come out on top, taking the decisive victory 82-74 to become the first of the new EuroLeague champions and complete a remarkable season for Smodis and his teammates. The game was uh, something that uh, we could carry on, I believe, at least something that I carried on in later years in my career because uh, it meant that that day, that moment, you had to give your best, uh, be 110% and uh, come out on top.